Welcome to Shalina's Hub. We speak of divine spark within us. In the spiraling maelstrom of existence, we find ourselves tossed and turned, seeking an oasis of tranquility, a silent harbor perhaps, to anchor our wayward souls. Dear friends, on this voyage, it is out of the crucible of tribulation that the most resilient spirits are forged. Souls that have braved life's tempests, that wear their wounds as badges of honor. And these wounds can be as visible as the lines in our palms, or as hidden as the deepest secrets of our hearts. As we journey through the landscapes of this singular moment, experience its unique essence, summon the divine radiance from within, an invitation to celebrate your existence for no two instances of time are ever identical. Often we find our minds becoming shrouded in the ceaseless chatter of the cosmos, drowned by the noise that inundates our daily lives, muffling the tender murmurs of our hearts. It is in this embrace of silence that we encounter our most authentic selves, unchained from the deafening sounds of contemporary existence, often steeped in chaos. And by journeying inward, we can unearth the time-honored wisdom that has illuminated the path of saints and scholars throughout history and satiate our souls with the spiritual nourishment that yearned for, that they actually yearned for. Now we yearn and with conviction, we call upon God to envelope us in a divine shroud of tranquility, a serene inner peace. So take a moment Really take that moment to breathe, to experience that peace, and be anchored in this very moment. You are under divine guidance. Wherever you find yourself on this boundless and inspiring fabric of our very existence, admits the breathtaking grandeur of nature that God has bestowed upon us, I urge you to take a moment to center your existence. Find a sanctuary of peace, whether it be in the heart of nature or within the sacred walls of your dwelling. Ignite a candle, perhaps one of soft azure, symbolizing the tranquility you seek within yourself and in the world that cradles you. Inhale deeply, allowing each breath to purify your spirit and pacify your mind. Picture the weights of worry and doubt being lifted from your weary shoulders replaced by a comforting sense of tranquility and inner peace. Visualize the gentle brush of a broom, sweeping away the dust particles before you proceed, leaving a path of serenity. And with each inhalation and exhalation, let the soothing rhythm of music reverberate within your very being, synchronizing with the pulse of your heart. And say to yourself, my mind is tranquil, imbued with light. I am in this present moment, here and now, gentle, cleansing and renewing. My mind is tranquil, imbued with light. I am in this present moment, here and now, gentle, cleansing and renewing. Imagine yourself alongside a serene river, its crystalline waters unveiling the brilliant, brilliant pebbles hidden beneath the surface. Let the river's persistent flow serve as a symbol of life's perpetual flux and of God's love that nurtures us through the most arduous of times. Embrace the splendor that envelopes you and remember that this tranquility is not only around you, but within you as well. And as you continue to breathe, and attune yourself to the silence of the moment. Trust in the process of delving deeper within yourself. Really trust it, rekindling the long forgotten inner peace. Feel that tender caress of the cool breeze on your face, a testament of God's love and the marvels of the natural world. So in this sanctuary of serenity, release the world's dissonance and welcome the tranquility within. Experience a gentle embrace of God, the divine 
knowing that the peace has always been a part of you and will forever remain. In the quiet whispers of existence, we discover the enchantment and the grace that exists not only in the world around us, but within our own selves as, as well. And how vital it is to inhale deeply, smile gently, and remember that within you resides an inexhaustible reservoir of strength and of love, a divine endowment that will steer you through even the bleakest of times. And by accepting the light within, you can illuminate your journey and find comfort in the wisdom that you are never solitary, you are never alone, for God is always with you, and nothing escapes God's knowledge. And you are not lost. You are a beacon, a radiant luminary in this world, and this is your divine prerogative. Now visualize a cascade of radiant light from the heavens descending upon you, enveloping you in its warm embrace. Feel its soothing touch, its gentle caress, healing and rejuvenating your weary soul. And this divine light is a reminder of your celestial origins, a testament to your spiritual identity. You are a child of the universe, a spark of the divine. Remember this truth and hold it close to your heart and let it guide you through the labyrinth of existence. Surrender to this moment, to the rhythm of your breath, to the heartbeat of your heart. Let your breath synchronize with the ebb and flow of the universe. Let your heart resonate with the hum of the cosmos. You are not isolated entity, but a part of a grand symphony of existence, an integral note in the melody of life. Breathe in and breathe out. And as you inhale, draw in peace, serenity, and love. Breathe in. And now breathe out. Remember to draw in peace, serenity, and love. And as you exhale, release your fears. Release your doubts, release your worries into the vast expanse of the universe. You are not alone in your struggles in your triumphs, in your journey. The universe bears witness to your story, shares in your joys, and empathizes with your sorrows. And as you open your eyes, let the world around you come into focus. Look about it with new eyes, with a heart full of peace and a spirit cleansed of burdens. And see the world not as a place of chaos and noise, but as a sanctuary of silence and serenity, a testament to the divine love that underlines all of existence. And remember, dear traveler, that every journey begins with a single step, every symphony with a single note, and every masterpiece with a single brush stroke. The road ahead may be long and winding, filled with unexpected twists and turns. But let's not fear, let's not bring that. For you, we are all travelers, seasoned by storms of life, guided by the light within, and accompanied by the divine. So venture forth with courage, and venture forth with faith, embodied by the peace within. Know that every step you take is a dance with the divine, and every breath a prayer of gratitude and every moment an opportunity for growth and for transformation. Every action we undertake, every word we utter, every thought we harbor is a reflection of this divine spark within us. And as we journey through life, let us remember this sacred truth. Let it inspire us, let it guide us and empower us. Let it remind us of our divine purpose and responsibility. Our role as divine sparks is to illuminate the path of life, not just for ourselves, but for those around us as well. And just as the moon borrows light from the sun to illuminate the night, we are to lend our light to those lost in the darkness of doubt and of despair, to those searching for meaning and purpose, 
to those yearning for peace and for love. We are to help them navigate the labyrinth of life and find their own path, their own truth. And let these words be our guiding star, or rather, our sacred mantra. And as we journey through the universe, weaving our own unique pattern, in the end, remember that the journey is as important as the destination. The process is meaningful as the outcome. So breathe deeply, smile gently, and walk your path with grace and humility. For we are all travelers on a divine journey, a journey that is uniquely and so beautifully our own. So own it. And the affirmation is that is the divine light is within me and guides me. The divine light is within me and guides me. The divine light is within me and guides me. And you pray, Dear God, please illuminate my path and guide my steps so that I may find solace in thy knowledge and that every tear I shed serves a higher purpose and that even in the depths of the world's suffering, thy hand is ever present, molding and shaping our spirit, our spiritual selves. Amen.